These are, without a doubt, my favorite type of strike indicator for nymph fishing. They float well, and they're real easy to use. Best of all, you can make them yourself for pennies a piece. The key ingredient for these indicators are small rubber O-rings that are available at most hardware stores or home centers. 5 16 of an inch in diameter seems to work well. Begin by cutting about a 10 inch piece of standard glow bug yarn. The color choice is up to you. Then, thread an O-ring onto a pair of forceps or hemostats. You should still be able to open the instrument a little bit. Fold the piece of yarn in half and then grab the fold with the instrument. Slip the o-ring onto the yarn until it's about halfway down the doubled over piece. Double over the piece again at the o-ring. Tug on the ring until you get most of the yarn to one side. Using a bobbin loaded with heavy thread, begin wrapping around the yarn right up next to the o-ring. Make sure to wrap over the top of the thread's tag end. After you make about 20 or so nice tight wraps, lay a bobbin threader across the top of them and then make another 8 or 10 wraps around the whole bundle. Snip the tying thread to free the bobbin and pass the thread you just cut through the eye of the threader. Now pull the threader and the thread underneath the wraps. Pull everything tight and then snip off both ends of the thread nice and close to the wrap. Apply a liberal amount of head cement all the way around the thread wraps. Indicators get quite a workout, especially during casting, and you don't want the wraps to come undone. After you've let the head cement dry for a bit, use some larger scissors to trim the indicator to its final shape. I always try to carry a range of sizes and colors to suit different water and light conditions. To use the indicators, double over but don't crease your leader at the point you want to place the indicator. Pass this loop through the o-ring and around the indicator to form a loop-to-loop -loop connection. Your indicator should stay in the same place on your leader even during heavy casting. If you want to move the indicator, simply loosen the loop-to-loop -loop connection a little and slide it up or down the leader. To remove it, undo the loop-to-loop -loop connection. It really is as simple as that. I store mine on a large paper clip which I then hook to the outside of my vest so the indicators are always handy. The whole thing does double duty as a zipper pull. 